Our days are numbered if we just sit here. Basically starving to death for no reason. Day five without food so far. It's just a hard, hard day. Yeah, it's crunch time. We need some food, so I can't be messing around. We got some weather coming in. It's a bit cold, it's windy. Just can't wait to get through it so we can learn from this lesson and always be prepared out here. This time we are headed into a truly remote place, the wilds of Northern Labrador. Alongside my good friend DJ, we plan on putting all our skills to the test in the ultimate survival challenge. Being dropped in the middle of nowhere without food or modern tools, we will rely on our bow and knowledge of foraging to eat. The extreme isolation of this place, along with having no safety team, will make this a true test of survival. Just dropped off at Mistassin Lake. This is it! There she goes! As you can see, this is our gear. We don't got anything else. No food. Soon as the plane was out of sight, we quickly got to work on making our first camp. We plan on staying here only until we can scout the land and find a more suitable place to dig in. This area is very barren and will be difficult to make a permanent shelter. First hunt of the trip right here. We're looking for our first supper. Okay, a little bit of a change of plans here. Maddie went uh, to hunt because we couldn't find a tree stand, so he's just gonna walk the river. I saw a nice fishing hole in the river, so I'm gonna cut down one of these trees here saplings and basically rig up just a real quick makeshift fly rod head to that river and fire a few casts nothing crazy Looks like it's just berries on the menu tonight. <laughs> this is rough. Sure is beautiful out here though. No grouse as of yet. I'll continue picking berries on my way back and keep my eyes open for a grouse, but I, I don't see it tonight. Little baby blueberries. Labrador tea. Yeah. Oh, dude, you picked a ton. That a boy.
All right, so this is night one at Miss Aston Lake. Yeah, this is something. Not what I expected because we got dropped off at the total opposite end of the lake and we don't even have maps for it. We got the GPS map, but all the friggin' 25 pages we printed don't include this part of the lake. We'll get to bed, nice warm sleeping bags tonight and wake up to a brand new day and see what that has holding for us. Waking up that morning, we were faced with the daunting task of exploring the land and finding a place to call home. We had no idea where we were going. All we knew was we needed a good place to fish, hunt, pick berries, and the hardest of all to find would be a good stand of trees to harvest logs for building. We traveled for two nights and three days, carrying enough camera equipment and batteries to film a Hollywood production. All the gear we needed to actually survive was only a fraction of this load. Having no time to properly fish or hunt as we traveled, berries became our staple. Burning off our reserves of fat with every step, we were desperate to find a good location. Okay. Just one more step. Oh, this is hard. Sunday, October 4th. We're only four days in. I think it might be doable, man. Looks pretty good, actually. You gotta come see. What does it look like? So just here, other side of this little roll on Esker. Beautiful flat spot to actually build a cabin. Yeah. Real perfect flat. I think when you see it, you're gonna be happy. Okay. Always happy. Great, that's good news. That's our spot then. Well, doesn't that look like a nice spot for a cabin? Perfectly flat. Perfectly hard and flat ground. The trees aren't great, but I mean, we can make it work with the trees we got here for sure. These are better trees than I've seen before over there. Yeah, man. Perfectly flat. Here? Yeah, something like this. Oh, <laughs> Shit. It's okay. The knee? Yeah. This is nice. This is our walk to fishing. Beautiful little walk. Oh man. This is great. It's perfect. Look at this walking distance to the lake. We got the river for fresh water and some trees in there for a cabin. We're great. Flat ground. This is the best sign we've seen today. That's for sure. It's such a relief to have a spot. Yeah, this will work. All right, we're just headed to the river to fill up some water and wash some clothes. It's good to keep all your clothes clean and especially your socks so you don't get blisters on your foot. Maddie's already got a blister coming in, eh? That's a big 10-4. Two blisters coming in thanks to dirty socks. So we're here to fix that problem and it's a beautiful day today. I think it's supposed to probably hit like 10 plus degrees today. So we got a clothing line and we're just going to do this early in the morning so we can dry them all out.
It does smell good. Well, today's gonna be a pretty big day because today we're making fishing rods. A very basic fishing rod. Now this is gonna be the pole right here. Young tamarack. Really strong, really flexible. Now I just need to clean it up. So now the whole idea is, take this stick, basically just put it across like that, just enough to hold a reel. Very simple. Fishing line. Just go on there just like that. Nothing to us. Just now make a little washer here so the reel doesn't go all the way in. Stiffen it up a bit so it can't pop off and away we go. Good old snare wire. Right here I'm just curving this piece of wood now to fit in my reel. So I got something to hold on to to turn the reel. You see that little piece of wood in there? Now I'll get a stick and jam in there too. Look what DJ found in the woods. All covered to some pot or something, whatever. Someone shoot bullets at it. It's gonna make great spoons, eh? Yeah, good lures. Lures, spoons, we're gonna call it spoon spinners, lures. Just what the doctor ordered. What do you think, boys? Gonna work? I fucking hope so, my guts are rumbling. Got the old rock cage on there for a weight. Oh, what a beautiful morning this is here. I made it to this rock out in the water and I'm, it's pretty far out and behind me here all down there it's all shallow water what a rough landscape just rough fishing we'll go back to the drawing board Try it up again. The entire shoreline that we can access within about 2.5 kilometers is super shallow. I mean, there's rocks going out hundreds of feet. We really don't think we're gonna make it if we just stay here. And it's crushing us because we don't wanna make another trek and burn that much calories, but that's what we have to do. Our days are numbered if we just sit here. The decision was made. We packed up our gear and headed out seeking new lands once again. Having a rough destination in mind this time made things a little easier. I'll never leave food on my plate ever again. And it's only day six. <laughs> You know what, I'm just gonna have a great, a real appreciation for food after this. Yeah. Not just eat random food, I'm gonna really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm a speed eater back home. Same. Dude, 
so fast. I can set a record. Maddie! Nice work, dude. Yeah. Thanks. Feels so good to be here. So much energy. Oh, yeah, that was a grind. That was a total grind. Glad to be here, my God. Taking advantage of what daylight was left, we quickly made camp and headed straight out to set the net. Being desperate for nourishment, we quickly set the net, knowing it wasn't used to its full potential. We just didn't have energy or daylight to get out in the water and set a proper anchor. Going home empty handed that night was heartbreaking, as it had been seven days since we had eaten anything other than berries. So it's a really big storm outside, it's gusting hard. He's out there doing some hero work right now and staking down the tents. It's huge. Now we're good for the night for sure. Hi oh boy, thanks for doing that. Yeah buddy. It's a cool and gray wet day out there. Pretty gross day, honestly. Rather than go out in the rain and cut logs or whatever, I'm gonna take the, some time this morning now to sit inside in the warm and um, prepare a figure four trap. Now, full disclosure on this trap, this is the very first one that I've ever built. So, obviously it's not that hard. Handy dandy Leatherman. Pretty sure this is gonna be the hardest part is getting it to set properly. But we'll give it a couple whirls here and see what happens. 
Tip this guy up. Ugh. Somehow, gotta keep that there and then get this rock on top. Hey, DJ! That'll do it. Yeah, I think this has to be trimmed down. This? End of it? Yeah. I've already learned quite a bit on this first trap, but the next one I make, I'll make this whole this thing shorter and basically the whole thing smaller so that the rock is on more of a gradual, more gentle slope. The whole idea is to have bait in here. This rock falls on the animal. Now all we needed was some bait. DJ went over to check the net for the first time while I went out hunting with my bow. Oh, mama! Woo! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> yes! It can't be put into words, the feelings that came along with that first fish. Why don't you open up the barrel, Matty? Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, oh dude. Yeah! <laughs> Pull her out. <laughs> three? Three. We got three in the net. What a blessing, man. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> oh, net. we're doing it, man. Yeah, buddy. Fuck net. We're eating, baby, for a few <laughs> nights. <laughs> Shit. We need to work on that smoker. Oh, so good. If you boys only knew. How good this really is. It's friggin' good. Get out of here! This will catch the spark the easiest.